1970. The Fleet Town Cubs. Looks like John Sherburn at first base. Nate Dudley catching. Reggie Gay at shortstop. There's Jeff Stevenson or Brad Stevenson. Nate throwing down to second. Dad cutting everybody's heads off. There he is throwing down to second again. Dale Thacker at third base. There's Dale making the tag, throwing home. Little infield practice, whipping it around the infield there. Brad Stevenson throwing back. Trying to get everything on the video here, folks. Little outfield practice for the boys. Looks like Nate Boy Bradford. Back, back, back. And as you can see, that a lot of heads are cut off here. Sorry, I can't do too much about that. It's just the way things are in this fine world. There you see the edge of the tape, so that's what I can do. This is the first time with this camera, I think. One of the first times. So you're not going to get everything on it. Outfield practice. There's Jeff Stevenson making the grab. Rodney Wyndham, maybe? Yep, there's Rodney. Jeffrey again. Trying to get the top edge here. Jeff had a little problem with his arm there. But he tried though, he really tried. And we are like, it's like a comedy of errors out there, isn't it? And of course, most everything you see here is uh, the green grass, right? Let's fix that frame if we can. And this looks like a little Christmas that I missed on the other tape. Oh well, we'll have to put it on. We'll put it on at the end. At least these are the kids at home. There's Mom. And it must be Steve. for that tape. This is 1971, the Town Cubs. There you see Robert McGrew or Nayboy Bradford up the bat. There's Dale Thacker in his own inimitable stance. Whacking one. There's Leroy Woolrich up the bat, I think. Called him Mooney, Brad Stevenson. There's old Brad. Oh, got hit in the face. There's Nate Dudley up the bat. Slashes one down the line, but it was foul. Popped it up. But he's going to run it out. Looks like he got on. Mr. Thacker at first. Reggie Gay. Nate gets the second. Takes a big lead. Ball gets past first, and Nate's coming around. Will he score? Yes, he will. Can't really tell who that is. There's Uno Davis out coaching third. Coach to the team. Swinging his balls in the dirt. Nate Dudley catching. This was a fine baseball team we had here. Leroy Woolrich on the mound, a la Mooney, as he was called. John Sherburn swinging at a bad one. Letting the bend of the bad one go by. Robert McGrew up to bat. Remember most everybody's name here. Not going to remember everybody, I'm sure. Either Nayboy or McGrew up to bat there. Dale Thacker. Another whack. Dale could hit. There's Mooney. Dale's going to second. Mooney rips a shot. Mo 
There's uh, Uno giving the signs. Brad Stevenson, another ripper. Brown ball. Nate Dudley up to bat. Oh, fights off the fist. Throw to first, not in time. Nate goes to second. Looks like the Laclede Town Cubs are doing okay today, folks. There's Ira Jones. John Sherburn again. John, not the best cuts in the world. Not doing so hot, but he's getting a piece of it. At first base with the underhand toss. There's round the infield it goes. What a team. What a team. Here we have St. Louis from the air, circa 1971. It looks like uh, the Art Museum in Forest Park. That's the hill, I think, that we go down. When we go sledding, there's the Municipal Opera. The ball fields in Forest Park where games that will be on this tape or will be played. Some of them anyway. Swimming pool of some sort. And there you see um, Grand Towers, the edge of Laclede Town, St. Louis University, etc. And there is Laclede Town entering the center of the screen. Right there in the center of the screen is Laclede Town. We were zooming in on it. You can see Berea Church a little bit off to the right. Another view of the Cleed Town as we pass by. A little bit jumpy, but we are in a plane after all. There's the Cleed Town, Berea Church in the center. And uh, the tower on the left signifying the end. There's Harris Teachers College in the background there, one of the circles. There's the arch, obviously, Mississippi River. The ball fields of Vashon Field. Pruitt Igo, perhaps. And some more of something from the air, and here's a landing. We're coming pretty close to a landing. I don't know who took uh, my father up for this ride, but we've got some nice pictures of St. Louis. Nice to have them recorded forever. Donald Chapman pitching for the Laclede Town Cubs. Nate Dudley catching, Uno Davis managing. This is uh, 12 years old baseball. I think it was called uh, juvenile in those days. Throw to second for the stolen base. Oh, they get the big guy. Donald Chapman could throw even though he didn't have the greatest follow through. Nate couldn't pick that one off, unfortunately. Standing a little bit far back there. I don't know who's up to bat just yet. There's Donald Smith. There's uh, John Sherburn again. Popped it up. Can't rightly tell who that is. That's quick. There's Chapman running. And that's the end of that tape. Here we have the Cleed Town, I don't even know, I believe it's the Jets pre-uniform days before we even had uniforms. 1970, this team was 2-2-2, two, two and two, and I believe you'll see lots and lots of plays here with the heads cut off. So I'm just going to run the tape uh, as is and see what happens. Nate Dudley back to pass, he throws, it's dropped. Into the line they go. Seem to be bleaching out the uniforms a lot. There's a pitch to Jimmy King. Hand up up the middle to King. King busts a couple tackles. Another hand up to King. Seem to be the standard practice here. Pitch to King. 
He just runs where he wants to run. Old Tate jumping around on me. Nate back to pass. He throws. It's caught. A lot of burn tape here. Nice to transfer this thing once and for all. King breaks a couple tackles and he's going all the way. There it is. A little goal line in practice. Nobody can touch King in practice. I think everybody here is 10 years old. There's a handoff to Stefan Cody. Coach's son, handoff to Jimmy King. Shadow of the cameraman there. A little bit low on everybody's head there. That's a handoff to, uh, what's his name, Davis, Craig Davis. Handoff to Jimmy King, second man through, breaks a couple tackles, makes a couple moves. This is against Florissant. And we almost burned the screen, but no, it's going to run on through. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Playing against Florissant at uh, Herbert Hoover Boys Club on Grand Avenue. This is another game now. This this year this team was 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. We had uniforms by now, as you can see. Quarterback is number 60, believe it or not. Because the biggest uniforms had the biggest numbers, and I was one of the biggest kids on the team, so what could you do? formation, straight ahead handoffs, nothing fancy for this team. Cross bucks. A lot of misdirection, keep those guys guessing. And just let Jimmy King run over people. Incomplete pass. Not too much uh, faking on the sideline there, huh? Nate makes the handoff and watches everything happen. No fakes afterwards. This was in those pre-technique days, right? But Dad's getting better. The, the, head, the headroom's coming down a little bit. End around. Here he comes. Nate Boy Bradford. Getting around the end. Can he make it? Oh! He's busting loose. And up to Jimmy King, second man through. We're doing okay so far, boys. Another hand off to King, gain of eight. Jimmy King off tackle. T formation. Fourth down on the goal line. What will they do here? Pitch to King. Round right in. He breaks it. Oh, another penalty calls it back. Dudley back to pass. He lets it fly. It's intercepted. Oh, incomplete. Sweep around right in. Stefan misses one tackle.
intercepted. There he goes. I forget who that was, but whoever it was, I think it was Stefan or Craig Davis intercepted for a touchdown. It's the celebration. There's the cheerleaders. Jim King just goes in there and busts people. Let's see, I don't remember every cheerleader's name. Carla Davis, Mary Sherburn, Yvette Johnson, Pam Johnson. There's Lisa, Lisa something. Lisa Hera, that's right. Alright, and I'm remembering all this 21 years ago now, so. Oh, Nate makes the tackle. How about that? Nate finally made a tackle, playing safety. Gets pummeled in the process, but he's got the guy down. Jimmy King on the ball. Probably made 70% of our tackle. <laughs> Looks like Kirkwood or somebody. Everybody had to show ID before the game to show they could weigh in and everything. This must be Andrew's team. Not sure what number he is, maybe number 82. The other coaches come by and look at everybody and make sure you can play. So this is Andrew's team. Oh, is that Andrew with the ball? Could be. Tough to say. Maybe this is an Andrew's team. I'm not sure if he's playing yet. This might just be the Laclee Town Colts or whatever that team was. Kirk Thomas, uh, a quarterback, I believe. Later played for the University of Missouri. Um, played with uh, Ernie McMillan's son, who now plays for the New York Jets. I think Kirk Thomas might have even played in the NFL or he got drafted. There he is running the ball. Look at him get around the corner. So you can see he had it even then. And now we're back to the uh, Cleetown Jets playing against, uh, I don't know, maybe Kirkwood themselves. Nate to punt. Not very much follow through there. Tackle probably by Jimmy King, although you can't tell from here. A little bit far away to see the action on these shots. Gotta zoom in a little bit. Throwing the bomb. Oh, Nate was back there on the coverage. For once in his life, didn't get beat. Let's see, uh, C-72 reminds me of Ira Jones. Cleetown Cubs ball, Nate back to pass, lets it fly, it's caught by Brad Stevenson, gets around the corner, Brad Stevenson, oh! Nate back to pass again, he looks, there he is again, he's out in the flat, he's open, oh, he fumbled the ball! He fumbled the ball after a long run! Here's Ava Hendricks in the white shirt on the left. One of my uh, first interests, so to speak. And this is the other cheerleaders for the little team that included some of the Roys. Let it go, let it go, boys. Don't touch it. 
Stefan picks it up and gets busted. <laughs> but he's the coach's son. Pro formations, look at that. It's flanker and everything. Going out to the flat and it's caught. Oh, incomplete. Nate back to pass. He's looking to the flat a lot today. Sweep the king. Can King get around the corner? Yes. Makes the cut. Running hard. Fourth down for the boys. Nate on a sweep. Cuts it up. Oh, and gets pummeled. Oh, didn't get the first down. Run over the middle. King wants to run with it. He'd love to run with the ball. Here's Michael Patterson, number 51. Here's Cody. First play out in Flores and Brad Stevenson up the middle for a touchdown. Big day, big day for the Cleetown Jets. Fumble on the extra point. A lot better pictures now. Dudley back to pass. He lets it fly. Look at that arm. Oh, and he had it. Craig Davis was wide open, but he dropped it or it was overthrown. Can't tell. Dudley back to pass again. Good blocking. He's falling off. Oh, a little underthrown there. Wasn't a great toss. Directing traffic. Moving those guys around on the line. Back to pass. Oh, blind side. And a fumble, and that's it. They recover. Somehow the Colts get the ball back. Pitch to King. Going around end. Turns it up, busts a bunch of tackles, as usual. Another sweep. Jimmy King running left. And it's taken down. Kickoff, I don't know if it's the second half or after a touchdown or what. Sweep for Florissant. Bobby Mitchell misses him, but Jimmy King makes the tackle. Nate Dudley on end there, going in to block that punt. Kick off to Stefan Cody, but he goes down in the heat. Here's the Jets, looking tough. Not very fast off the ball, though. Give to King, he's stuffed. And off to Jimmy King, he's busting tackles left and right. Look at him go, there goes Jimmy King. And a clipping call brought it back. Hmm. Underthrown by Dudley. And they stuffed up. Florissant ball. Trying to turn the corner, but he can't do it on the tough knee. Nate Dudley with the tackle, not a very good form, but he went down. Another tackle by Jimmy King. Mm, Reggie Gay with the hit. The toss. Oh, it's caught! Can Nate catch him? Yes! He brings him down, but not after a big gainer. Get the ball back. Interception! Terrible pass! Terrible pass! Morrison ball over the middle. 
Nate Dudley comes up and makes the stick. Oh, he missed him, but the other guys help out. Here's a sweep. Bust some tackles. And Nate on the hit. Reverse! Frederick Lewis is 41, Jimmy King is 44. There's a whole lot of hitting going on. And there's another reverse and almost a burned film. What can we do about it? We can run it ahead. Pull it on through there. Stefan Cody with the catch. The punt formation, a high snap. Oh, he's going to run it. And he gets nailed. Not the quickest to foot that Nate Dudley. Florissant ball close to the goal line. Not stopped very well. There's the D. He called a penalty of some sort. He goes in and back out. Where's that safety? Safety didn't really do the job on that one. Got beat to the corner and it fumble the in. There's the kickoff. Onside kicker. He lofts it up. Oh, second interception of the day. Not a very good pass by Dudley. Got to learn when to throw the ball, when to hold on to it. Jimmy King on another tackle. Close game here, folks. Bust through the line. Some of the crowd at today's game. Cody on the left. Good crowd, good crowd to be out in Florissant on a fall day in 1970. I was skinny, but I was big for these, you know, relative to these kids, huh? Wide open again. Where's my man in the flats? Nate makes a saving tackle. But should got to have somebody in the flat over there. They're just getting burned. Run the same play again. This time they broke it up. Thank you. Got deep middle. And punt. And it's blocked. Blocked. Dudley picks it up. Oh. I don't know who blocked that. I think it was Bobby Mitchell, the way he was running off the field. Another interception. Third interception for the Jets, huh? Not very good. Stuck by Cody there. Defensive backfield of Craig Davis, I believe. Here's Cody with Dudley. Coach Norbert K.O. Cody. Crisscross to Jimmy King. Back to pass goes Dudley. Falling back on his haunches. Gives it to King, who doesn't do very well. From behind the action. Dudley falling back again. Gets it off to Stefan Cody. Another angle, that previous pass. Here's the punt. Oh, they called a fake. Oh, this is the same action we saw before, but another angle. How'd we get two angles? Two cameras? 
I didn't know they had two cameras in those days. Here's a sweep. Gets around in. Dudley can't get there. Touchdown. Same stuff we saw before, just another angle. This is very interesting. How did we get two of the same play? I don't know who else is taking pictures. Wherever they are, they're really far away now. Another interception. 1971. The Fleet Town Jets, virtually unstoppable, at least in the regular season. Reggie Gay, number 24 there. Nate Dudley at quarterback. And kicking off, number 18 this year. Not exactly the greatest follow-through on the kicks, huh? Down the field they go. This is against NYA, I believe, the name of the team was. Just we were offside. There's a little better follow-through. Bobbled around. And the guys are going for it. Big old number 33. Who was in on that tackle? Nice tackle. I'm going to try to focus a little bit here. Bobby Mitchell, number 25, intercepted by Reggie Gay. Good defense. Handoff up the middle to Frederick Lewis or Craig Davis, probably Craig Davis. He fights for yardage. Quick pitch to King. King gets around the corner. Runs out of bounds. Handoff up the middle to King, and King is... Gone, as they say. He must have had 300 yards rushing that day. Film is jumping around a lot. I'm going to have to be popping around myself. Hello. Come on. Up the middle with the sneak, but he gets tossed back. And the kick. Fumbled around. Fumble recovered by the Jets. Back to pass. He looks. Oh, he's hit. Dudley at safety again, number 18, not moving very quickly off the ball. A little bit jumpy this footage. Looks like it could get caught at any moment. Well, make my move. Okay, another game. Not sure what the name of this team is. Again, it looks like we're playing at Herbert Hoover Boys Club. Film's not quite so jumpy. Pass over to middle, incomplete. 11 years old now, in sixth grade. And the film is broken. Okay, we'll. Uh Like another touchdown for the boys. Sorry about the delay there. Hard to get this thing in focus. Jimmy King. Obviously in slow motion. Ooh, they got a big kick that time. I don't know who kicked it, but somebody kicked it. King just plays with his hands on his hips and goes to the ball. Didn't get there that time, but it was a fumble. 
incomplete pass. As you can tell, we weren't playing like the uh, the greatest of. Uh, we weren't playing the greatest of competition. That'll be quarterback. Back to throw. This time he steps up there. Oh, he had a true pad in his hands and he dropped it. Otis Troop. And this time he overthrew. Back to throw. Gets it off to King. King breaks one tackle. And he's off to the races. The boy could run. Reverse to Nayboy Bradford gets in for the score. Hello. Another burnt film. We'll pull that one on through and go to the next. The tape is wearing thin. Lots of burnt film. You see, uh, boys like to used to stop the action in the old days and watch the plays over and over again and ended up with a lot of burnt film. A little bit far away, it's a little bit better view. Dudley threw a lot in those days for an 11 year old. That one was blocked, or they called incomplete pass. Back to throw, stepping up in the pocket, right out there to Otis Troop, and he pulls it in. Reverse, oh, he keeps it, and he's gonna race for the corner, and he gets in. Extra point. Back to throw. Oh, another touchdown. You could say the boys were a little bit powerful in these days. Opa, uh, upper view now. Playing in a real stadium, it looks like. Probably against Kirkwood or somebody like that. Sweep to Brad Stevenson. Nate Dudley's not doing any blocking today. Just standing around watching. That's the idea. Key formation. Reggie Gay almost in the backfield there. Frederick Lewis around right end. Can he make the corner? No, he's brought down. Nate overthrows Otis Troop. Hand off to King, second man through. Jimmy King fighting for yardage. Does make a difference when you have a nice view of the game, doesn't it? Ah, you can actually see what's going on. Sweep to Stevenson. This time Dudley blocks. What a block. Brad Stevenson with the run. Throw over the middle. Oh, it gets between him, but he dropped the ball. They gave it to him anyway. Not a very strong kick by Dudley there. Sweep. Jimmy King in the backfield for an eight-yard loss. Bobby Mitchell playing with the white helmet. Oh, they dropped the pass. The flea flicker. Could be intercepted. Oh, Stefan Cody drops it. The punt that goes about 20 yards. Jimmy King with the return. Sailing down the sideline. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jimmy King all the way. Look at the cheerleaders run with him. Nobody's going to catch that man. Touchdown. Oh, bro. Called back for clipping. What do you know? Dudley back to throw. Oh, overthrows Reggie Gay in the flex. Hand off to King. Second man through. Gain of six. Third down and four. Dudley. Oh, he's caught. What will he do? He goes back. He's scrambling like Joe Namath with, when he had knees. Dudley gets the first down. He's going to go down the sideline. He's caught from behind. <laughs> I'd forgotten that play. Jimmy King on the, on the delay.
Sweep to Frederick Lewis. Can he get outside? Yeah, he gets a few. Dudley on the reverse, I think. Can he get in? Yes. Oh, Ira Jones is kicking off now. There's a boot. Oh, somebody saw glory. Fumble picks it up. In those days, you could pick up the fumbles. Over the middle, throwing in traffic. It's lucky not picked up. Throwing a lot for 11-year-old team, I tell you. Touchdown, Jimmy King. Extra point try. The reverse, lots of blocking. There it is. That time he didn't get the whole foot into it. Throwing the bomb, intercepted by Reggie Gay, leading the team in interceptions, must be by now. Hand off up the middle, nothing fancy about this team. Touchdown. Oh, what a catch. Off the screen, what a catch. Letting everybody kick kick off today. Jimmy King with the hit. Well, they went to that pitch out pass all day, didn't they? There's a punt. Quick kick. Good tackle. got in to score again and an onside kick and they get it none of this other team wants to play doesn't look like sure doesn't look at Jimmy King run through people oh broke five tackles six seven he's still running see ya the unstoppable think we won this game 54 to nothing if I'm not mistaken it was not a good day for the team in red. Patterson at center, Ira Jones at guard. Forget who the other guards were. 
Tries to tackle. Nate steps up in the pocket and throws. It's caught over the middle. Nothing like uh, rubbing it in, folks. They're rubbing it in today. Yeah, I remember Cody wanted somebody to kick. Doesn't seem like anybody on their team wants the ball. throwing the ball so much for. Now they touch down. In the reverse it takes it in for the extra point. A little bit dark out there now. Sorry about that. Throwing it up for grabs. I'm just going to run it. It's hard to tell what's going on. I'm trying to make a historical document here. I'm not going to uh, cut anything out. But it sure seems like we're throwing the ball a lot. We winning by so much. Nate threads the needle though. For once he got the ball between two defenders. Coach uh, Cody's just throwing the ball every play. I didn't know we ran it up so much on these guys. I thought we just ran the ball. Sixty-one to nothing. That's not very nice. On their home team, on their home field, they must not like that too much. I guess we've all had games like that. Cody really ran it up, though. That's it. Shake hands time. New game. Playing NYA on their home field. That's why I remember that field didn't have any grass. Playing in the dirt. Got that big fullback. There he is. They give it to him off tackle. Back to punt, but he gets smothered. All right, Jets have the ball. Oh, Frederick Lewis jumps off. As you can see, we're about the same size as these other teams, which will not be the case when we get to the playoffs. Seemed like every guy on the other team was bigger than I was, and I was the biggest guy on my team. Yeah, it takes a good balance for the kid. Oh, fumble recovery. Jimmy King, I think. I don't know who got that ball. Somebody got it. Look at the cheerleaders go up and down. Love it. Love it. And a pass for the extra point. Got to go in tight, Jared. Can't stay that far back out. Never get the plays. This camera. And he's sacked.
Nate Dudley on a quarterback's keeper. Doesn't get very far. And up to Jimmy King off tackle. He gets a long way. Reverse. Craig Davis. And Nate Boy Bradford. Oh, fumble at the end. Gets out of bounds and the coach pushes it out. Hand off to King, off tackle. There goes Jimmy King, off to the races. See you time. Dudley back to throw. Let's it fly. Oh. No quarterback keeper. Turns it up. Breaking a lot of tackles, but going nowhere fast. Running straight up and down. Oh, there was the pass. Greg Davis. Reverse keeps it. Goes around the end. Yes. Off another game. Bridgeport, I think. We played every team twice, so we play home and home against three different teams. And I think that once we crushed them, the second game was kind of a foregone conclusion. Got a towel in the center's back and everything, looking real professional there. Michael Patterson at center, wonder how he's doing. Jimmy King, off tackle, see ya. Nobody catches King from behind at this age. He's fairly advanced for his age. Nate overthrows the extra point. Craig Davis is kicking off now. We tried everybody kicking off. over the middle of Reggie Gay won't go. Ooh, off his hand. Brad Stevenson. Reverse to Reggie Gay. Can't get outside. Kick off. it up. Screen to King. Just let him do the work. He'll do it too. Cody's giving it to us. Stevenson picks it up. Can't turn the corner. Oh, 
Alto it is Troop. And Troop is off to the races. He beats him in the flag pattern. Throwing the long bomb. Jimmy King gets tripped up. Oh, and Muhammad. Oh. Muhammad comes in to quarterback because uh, Cody didn't like what I was doing. Told him Muhammad come in and run a sneak. I forget what Muhammad's last name was. Then he runs a sweep. Oh, and he gets in. Muhammad scores a touchdown. All right. And he fumbled there, and I think I'll be in on the next play, if I recall. Yeah, and then I fumbled too. So well, here we are back against NYA. A little bit out of order here, this tape. There's a sweep by the big man. King with the stick. Boy, the man could hit. Dudley didn't mess around there, just, he just put it up. Just put it up, see what happens. I think Cody's jacket actually said KO Cody on it. Accepted by Nayboy Bradford, I think. Oh, to Jimmy King and Nayboy Bradford over the middle, and the cheerleaders cannot run him. Yes. Intercept, incomplete. One more game from 1971 before we show you the playoff game. Actually, this, this is a game we've already seen a little piece of, I'm sure.
probably, I think Jimmy King stole the ball and ran for a touchdown. Gotta make sure I got the whole screen here. Looks like I do. And the Jets get the ball back. Nate's throwing long as usual. I don't know what he's doing there. Quick handoff. Sweep the king, just let him run. Slipped. Boy Bradford number 20, Richie Gay 24, 21 I think is Frederick Lewis, but he might have been 12, Miss Craig Davis or Stefan Cody. Couldn't find out his troop there. Going deep, there it is, touchdown on the post pattern. I guess it wasn't a touchdown. Frederick Lewis, number 12. What a nice run. Kickoff by Craig Davis. Muhammad getting busted. I think these teams were really ready for us. And that's it for this one. Uh. After playing six games against teams that weren't that good and winning all of them, we uh, got into the playoffs. And this is the game going to the playoffs. We got city buses. It was a big deal. We got new uniforms. Here we are on the way, going to play Lime LBA, team from South uh, St. Louis, and it was really cold that day, although the cheerleaders don't show it, kind of see how cold it was. And uh, we're playing, playing a pretty big team, you can see every single guy is bigger than our guys. Initial kickoff, and uh, they're really good, they're a pretty good team, so it should be a good game. The um, He goes shotgun, and this guy, your quarterback, was pretty good. Here he is, breaks around the end, gets around past everybody, and all of a sudden we know we're in for a game here. And they ran a lot of shotgun and misdirection and all sorts of crazy stuff. The coach had gotten us ready, but it didn't seem to work that much. Here comes their big guy around the end, 32. 32 and 23 were pretty good. It's a pretty good stick by Jimmy King though right there. Kind of showed him they were going to have a game too. But uh, as you can see, the if you get us close up here, interception by, I uh, forget who that was, got that interception, but it's a big play. So all of a sudden we're in the game. We're going to, we're going to give these guys a game. Fumble on the snap didn't help us any. Nate's back to pass. Throws and it's dropped, I guess. Sweep the king and he can't get around the corner. So I think it's fourth down here. And I punted the ball and uh, their big guy got it and took off. But he's caught by king. They put 
two wide outs and did all sorts of stuff with crazy formations and ran shotgun and ran up the middle and they were all over the place. Everybody got new numbers now that they got new uniforms. Everybody had a new number and King was 49 in this game instead of 44. He, he always said that that's why we lost because he didn't have his number. But they got a big run but luckily they got called back and so all of a sudden we're still in a game here and they haven't really, they didn't, nobody's really dominating yet. Although it seems a long way away here. They ran all sorts of misdirection. You never knew where they was going to go with the ball. Every single guy on their team, though, is bigger than our team, that's for sure. Over the middle. And they punted it. King was running back punt, so you know it was an important game. Fifty one at quarterback, I guess, is me. Nice run, and all of a sudden we're moving the ball. King breaks around the end. Almost went all the way, but uh, they caught him. But it looks like we're going to play some ball now. Into the first quarter. And the Jets are driving. How can they do? Still running the ball. Still trying to stay on the ground. This could be the turning point of the game here, folks. Dudley back to pass. He throws. Oh, from the blind side, the interception comes by their big player, number 21. Replays will show that uh, he was open in the end zone, but the safety was playing free safety. And the next play, he went around the corner, and it was all over. That was it. So from the 10-yard line, throw the interception. Next play, go around the end for the touchdown. They get the extra point. So all of a sudden it's eight to nothing, or six to nothing, seven. I don't know how they counted them. So the Jets have to try to come back now. They had the momentum going there for a while. Fourth down, got a punt. Looks like they didn't get the punt off or something happened. And Lee May is way down there. Sweep left. And he gets in. All of a sudden it's 12 to nothing. Forget the final score of this game. Huh? I remember how big they were, and I remember you getting rushed all day long. Never had a chance to throw that thing. It was cold, too. They were big. I forget what the weight limit was in this team. 
There he goes. Third touchdown of the quarter. Nope. Caught from behind. Huh? I think the weight limit was 115 maybe? It's in trips and quadruples and everything else. They had the weirdest formations. says let's go to the bus let's sit on the bus and that's it that was halftime but I don't think things changed too much in the second half fumble back to pass puts it up Oh, almost intercepted. Nice position. Sacked. Yeah, he got sacked on that one. Oh, got around the corner. And that's it. Hello. Turn this baby off. Where are you? Looks like either Andrew or the other team for the Cleetown. 1972 Cubs. I think they were the champions. I don't think Andrew was on this team. He might have been, though. And I guess the reason to record this would be as a record for the Cleetown sports. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think Andrew's on this team, actually. <sighs> I'm not sure. See the cleats out in the background anyway. Oh, yeah. That's him on the left tackle, isn't it? Okay. Number 28. I think he plays left tackle. I'm pretty sure that's him. Yep, I think he has And besides, we got, you know, Steve at this age. Yeah. Might as well put Andrew on at this age. Mm -hmm. Ooh, reverse this field. Unbalanced line. Elvis man up there. Yeah. 
was going all the way there, but somebody's going all the way for the Cleetown Colts. I believe they were champions. Andrew, we believe, is number 28 in the white. Although it is hard to tell here. I don't know who they're playing. That is uh, Vashon Field. Eric Thomas in the red shirt, the coach. They're not doing so well at this point. Team in the light green is doing all right. Team in the white jerseys and the green helmets. Is the good guys, they're not doing so hot. That kid's pretty good, number 21. Let's see the wall here. Got to block. Got to block somebody. Oh, nice blocking. Oh, there's a cut. Andrew's number 28. I think he's, uh... No, he's not in there right now, I don't think. He was left tackle before. Oh, fumble. And a fumble. Another fumble. Well, these guys are not doing the greatest right now. Number 21 is all over the field, striding it out. Nobody's moving like him. Oh, boy. Not looking good. He's been throwing the ball for, for extra points. There's Andrew. That front line ran right by the guys. There's a right tackle. Andrew Dudley. Not quick off the ball there. Another game for the LT Colts, 1972. And Andrew Dudley, somewhere in there. Not sure who they're playing here. Kind of tough to make it out, given the way things are. This team was champions. I believe Stefan Cody was the quarterback. Yeah, he's throwing the ball. Not sure who he threw that one to, but whoever it was, I think it was Bruce Davis. I think Andy Dudley's on this team. Not sure where. Looks like a wide angle lens there somehow. Keeps fumbling. Big 
Keep the rush on. Nobody's stopping these guys. Sack every time, huh? Does not look good for the team in yellow. Stefan Cody on the sweep goes around the corner. And he high steps it into the end zone. I think that's Frederick Lewis running. He's playing with the lighter weight team this year. Maybe it's Kirk Thomas. Double reverse, coming back around to Cody. Cody's high stepping down the sideline. Touchdown. And once again, the Cleetown Colts, 1972. Ah. Trying to get it all on tape here. Dudley not making a lot, not making his presence felt completely on this team. But he is a part of the action every now and then. <sighs> and I'm getting tired. I'd say the other team isn't blocking very much. They did complete a pass just then. We're a little bit out of focus here, so don't worry. Can't do too much about that. Big sack. Throw it out in the flat. And they get the punt off. You can see Laclede Town in the background in all its glory. it out there. Oh, it's caught. Face mask and everything. All day to throw the ball and he overthrows him. Stefan Cody back to pass. 
Over the middle, good coverage. Sweep left, student body left to I don't know who, maybe Kirk Thomas. The way he's running, it probably is Kirk Thomas. And there's Coach Norbert Cody talking to the big boys on the way in. And this is Nate's team, 1972. Nate would be in sixth grade here. Or seventh grade, perhaps. Playing NYA at Vashon Field. The action seems furious. There's Jimmy King with the ball, a year older. Following his blockers and turning it up. Nate number 23. The boys seem to be going with the I formation. Sweep to King. Playing tailback. And after King gets about three or four. Little jumpy camera action. There's the bomb. Oh! NY had a big team. But the game seems fairly even so far. Got another punt. Caught and fumbled by... No, and he recovered his own fumble. Punt by Dudley. He get the ball back. Oh, and he's clothesline. Got a block for those for those quarterbacks. Quarterback sweep. The defense gets there. Who was it? Number 44. Who else? Dudley back to throw. He heaves a long one. Intercepted. Nate Dudley playing defensive end. Ooh. Didn't get quite get there. Got in on that stop. Oh, goes for the loose ball. Got the fumble. Throwing to King, but King, Jimmy King, missed the ball. Looking deep again. And he overthrows his target, Craig Davis. Not exactly looking for that secondary receiver. Oh, overthrows again. Boy, just putting it up. There's Jimmy King coming down the sideline. Look at King run. He's off to the races, and that's it. Against NYA again. Same game. 1972. The Fleet Town Jets. 7th graders. 7th graders, I think under 125 pounds was the uh, limit here. So we're starting to get a little big. He gets the punt off. Nate running the option. Nowhere to go. Hand off to King. King busts one tackle, but can't get by the whole defense. Swings it out in the corner. Couldn't quite get it there. Oh, gets away from one guy. Scrambles left. And he's brought down by a crowd. Guy was open.
Tackle by Dudley, number 23. How about that? Block punt. Dudley back to throw. Greg Davis can't quite get away. There's a slant in. He gets it, gets it to Bradford. Nay boy Bradford. There's a draw to Jimmy King, and Jimmy King is off to the races. All the way. Just the way you designed it, right, coach? Sweep to King, no extra point. In the kickoff. Tackle by Craig Davis, actually. Punt. Somebody looks really hurt. And why he's putting the ball up here. Okay, against Lime LBA, the rematch at LBA. This is the following year after losing to them in the playoffs. We go to their home turf. Play basically the same team. You know, everybody's a year older. And we were in the same league with them. In a driving rainstorm. A big old back they had. Pitch out to King. Jimmy almost made it on his own. Back to throw. Not a very good pass from Nate, but Nate Boy couldn't hang on. Caught by Nate Boy. Craig Davis on that one. I guess it was a penalty or something. Maybe not. Can Jimmy get around the corner? Yeah, he can. But he must have fumbled or something. I don't know what happened. Up the middle, nothing. Back to throw. Ooh, the guy was wide open. Here's the halfback option. See, they're running a lot more standard sets and everything than they used to. They're still a lot bigger than us, but they used to run all that crazy stuff, too. Now they're just running regular football. Funny how you remember all this stuff later on. Craig Davis got the interception there. We're running the option. Option to Jimmy King. Goes around the corner. Out of bounds. Split split ends. Or we're running two guys out, huh? Okay, still playing LBA here. 
at their stadium, 1972. Seventh graders, Nate running the option to perfection. Jimmy King, Jimmy King sliding in the mud. And there's the reverse, but doesn't go anywhere. Running a nice offense, King breaks away. He's going, he's going, he's gone. Touchdown. The reverse doesn't seem to be working for the boys. I believe we lost this game 18 to 12, but it was a lot better game than the game that we played these guys last year. The previous year in the playoffs where we got crushed. Cody and everybody else have been getting us ready to play these guys for a long time. Nate Boy Bradford getting some action. Sweep to King, can't get away. Got a punt. King is punting. Can't get it off. Not a very good one. Nate the other defensive end. Bobby Mitchell also playing back there. Brad Stevenson. Don't know if I have any team pictures of this team. Jumping around a defensive end. Throwing deep. Oh, he caught it. Touchdown, LBA. Not a good sign for the Jets. Getting beat deep like that. In a highly competitive game for seventh graders. A lot of action. Running the option. Running the option in seventh grade, gotta like it. Having confidence in us. Sweep this way, Dudley strings it up. Didn't make the tackle though. Reverse. The defense is holding up well against Lee made the team that ran all over him last year. Anybody there? Yeah. How you doing? Okay. How'd it go? Terrible. Really? The return match of Lee May LBA. Playing at home this time. Not sure exactly, like I say, what the scores of these games were. Although if I dig through my records, I might be able to find it somewhere. Both games were pretty hotly contested, though, I think. There goes Snape Boy down the sideline. Carl Dudley coaching, I think. The quick passes. Timeout. Coach Wedding. Coach Wedding talking to Nate Dudley. I think Carl Dudley was the coach of this team. Nate goes back in the huddle. And he pull this one out. The slant pass seems to work. Back to throw. There's nobody open. He scrambles. He finds somebody. Oh! And I think they got into the end zone on that one, folks. Oh! And the guys were wide open for the extra points, but they dropped it. LBA back to throw. Throws deep. Incomplete. But boy, they're getting beat. There's Joyce Thomas. Oh, there was the trick play. And he was luckily caught down by Craig Davis in the last second. 
We're running those handoffs, those counters up the middle, looking good. Sweep and reverse. He got away somehow. Please tackle. Nate Sack. How grainy this film is. Can't quite get the focus on this one. I think that's about as good as I can do. Nate back to throw. He looks deep. It's caught in the flat. Touchdown, the Queentown Jets. The Jets are looking good so far. I don't know how Lee May came back on this one. I believe these films were shot by Eric Thomas. What allowed Carl Dudley to coach these days, but of course there is a, the loss of uh, focus and seeming quality in, in some of the filming in that trade-off, i.e. Lee May seems to be scoring, but it's kind of tough to tell what's going on, except seeing the coaches jumping around. Tough game to follow, Coach. There's Coach Dudley. I think Eric, pro Mr. Thomas, probably heard a lot about this, not being able to follow the game. Nate's going for the long ball. Mm. I think this was originally shot very out of focus here, folks. There's Coach Dudley going out on the field to talk to the referee. Something he's never done before. He's never had anything to say to a ref. Whole thing was shot out of focus. Nate didn't do too badly at defensive end. I'm surprised. I thought I was worse than, than I actually am. I wasn't the greatest defensive player in history, but... Looks like it must be halftime. Eric's running all over the place. This is not, uh, I'm telling you, this is not fast motion. This is just uh, what's being shot. And here we are back at NYA. Out at their field. Bumble in the rain. In the mud. Kind of a sloppy game. And I think that'll be it for the games in St. Louis. We'll have to go to the next videotape to start all of the history of games in Chicago. And that's it. See ya and thanks very much.